My name is Nicholas Kimball. I am a full-time professional blacksmith with a focus in colonial and early American ironwork and one of the lead blacksmiths at uh, George Washington's Mount Vernon. My day um, generally starts out sipping some coffee and you know trying to enjoy my surroundings outside the shop just kind of soak in uh, the atmosphere and center myself and prepare myself for what's coming. Um, the days are long, they're hard, they're dirty. Um, every day is a little bit different depending on the projects that we have um, but typically you know, setting out the tools, doing any prep work uh, for what is going to be created. Uh, but again, and ultimately, it's just the days are long, hard, and dirty. My passion for blacksmithing, I think, comes from an appreciation of my grandparents. Uh, my grandparents were all very creative people, uh, hardworking, um, come from a line of engineers and uh, carpenters, woodworkers, artists, and they showed me at an early age what it was to create things with your hands, what could be conceived and put together and brought into reality. And so as I do this work, um, I like to think that they're proud of what I've accomplished, what I've been able to create. And I think that's what makes me so passionate about what I make. There are a variety of workshops all over the country uh, that are teaching blacksmithing or advancing the, uh, the trade or art of blacksmithing. Uh, I most recently attended a, a class at John C. Campbell Folk School in North Carolina. Uh, that particular class was on uh, traditional blacksmithing joinery techniques, which is you know how we attach different pieces of metal together. Um, but there's opportunities to learn um, through blacksmith guilds, colleges, universities, uh, different folk schools. I try to attend at least one workshop class uh, lecture a year. Um, it doesn't matter how long you're involved in any particular trade or craft. Um, ultimately you want to keep learning, you want to keep expanding your yourself, uh, growing uh, your your mental toolbox in how different things are created, um, whether there's new techniques, different techniques, there's always something new to learn. And if I want to improve myself, it's important to go to these workshops and you know experience other people's way of making uh, the same things that I make and sometimes it just reaffirms what I already knew and sometimes it shows me new and different ways and sometimes it shows me that what I was doing was the best way uh, that is available to me right now. My favorite part of blacksmithing uh, would be creating something that is uh, beautiful and useful and seeing the look on someone's face when they receive their item, uh, that moment of awe that they have that it was actually created in the way that uh, they envisioned.